It's so nice to finally meet you. I know. It's so nice to finally meet you. I feel like we know each other, though. I know. I know. We go we go back social media wise. Um, we do. We go way back. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to introduce you and then we'll get started. Perfect. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Everything Iconic with me, Danny Pellegrino. We got a special interview with one of the stars of Selling Sunset, which just released its sixth season on Netflix. Uh, Emma Hernan. Emma, how are you today? I'm wonderful. How are you doing today? Good. I'm sure you've seen on social media my empanada journey um, with your empanadas. And my boyfriend is obsessed with your pizza flavored ones. Ooh, I love that. (laughs) Yeah. He like was just telling me, he's like, you got to tell her that I love the pizza. Is it the pizza flavor? Yeah, the pizza flavored ones. Oh my goodness. Well, I will send you some more and I can't wait to see. Yeah, that journey. I I was on that journey with you. I was living for it. I was like, I need to see every single post. No, I love that. That was oh, iconic. Thank you. thank you. People still reach out to me about it. And um, the QVC, we almost did something. Uh, QVC had reached out. We almost did something. Uh, I don't remember exactly. I mean, everything's sort of blurring together in my head. But the pizza flavored ones really were like... an a larger pizza roll, which, and I, I mean, that is like the biggest compliment. Like <laughs> they were literally oh, like yeah. a larger Totino's pizza roll in the best of ways. Who doesn't want to eat a large Totino's pizza roll? Seriously. But these have a healthy twist to it. So, you know, they're less calories, they're plant-based. I mean, come on, it's a win-win. <laughs> uh, Emma, let's talk about the show Selling Sunset. I thought season six was like your best season ever. I was very concerned with Christine not being there. I'm like, where's the drama going to come from? Where's the conflict? How is the story going to go? And I truly, I'm not just bullshitting you. I think it was like the best season. There's so many layers, so many new dynamics. How did you feel going into the season? Were you all worried sort of as a cast maybe uh, about whether or not there was going to be conflict or did you always sort of feel going into season six, it's going to open up story for the rest of us? So I definitely thought going into season six, it would open up. So everyone would kind of get to develop a little bit more, which I think is important. You want to see layers to people. And I think that this season just had so many different dynamics. Now, with that being said, I did not know the drama was going to get to the level that it did. I had zero idea that it would ever go that high. So, I mean, it was obviously a win for the show, but probably a loss for some of the girls. <laughs> um, a lot of brain cells are fried from, from season six. But like you said, I mean, I honestly feel like it was the best season yet. 100%. And Nicole was an addition, but she had worked at the real estate company before being on the show. And I mean, there was like craziness. Emma, like that whole scene at the table, what was going through all of your minds when Chris Shell said the thing about the crack? Was it the crack or or on crack crack or crackhead or something? There was like some confusion. Talking about crack. (laughs) (laughs) Say crack again. Wasn't that a mean girl's quote? Yeah. Um, What was going through your head during that scene? First of all, can we talk about the best moment ever of the whole season when Nicole's walking away and Mary's like, you're not a crackhead. You're not a crackhead. Nor have you ever been a crackhead. I'm sorry. That's going to go down as one of the most iconic, memorable reality TV moments. Um, But no, when you just said that, talking about that dinner, I was covered in goosebumps. I mean, it was wild because... I mean, there was a time like, so me, Chelsea and Michelle were also close and we were kind of like looking at each other. And I mean, Nicole was behaving really weird and we kind of all were like, you know, it's a little weird me. And then when they went at each other, it was like, all right, you want to throw that? I'm going to call it how it is. So it was one of those moments. But I just remember as soon as that bat was dropped, everyone was just like, like we couldn't even get our jaws off of the damn table. <laughs> the real telling thing to me though, Emma was like, I, and maybe some of it was cut or something. And I know you just mentioned Mary sort of yelling, you're not on crack or whatever, but I sort of felt like nobody really was denying it all that much. Yeah. That was like the part of it wasn't like, yeah, it was, there was not a lot of denying. I couldn't figure out what was going on, but I was like, First of all, it shouldn't be that big of a deal anyways. If you're going off and you're getting a drug test, I mean, geez, if anyone said that to me, I would just laugh. You're making it a way bigger thing. Like, guilty much? I don't know. (laughs) Also, she seemed to want the smoke a little bit because that one scene where it was a different episode, she goes, pulls Chriselle aside at one of the openings or something. And yeah, yeah. And so she, I felt like was looking for a reaction. And then Chriselle gave her the reaction. And it's like my grandma always says, or or the pussycat dolls always say, be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. 
Exactly. I mean, she came in and she had a plan and her plan was to try and take down Chriselle. And, you know, it didn't really work in her favor and more power to Chriselle for sticking up for herself and showing. And I honestly love that, especially because, you know, there's so there's millions and millions of people watching and Chriselle's so sweet. But also, too, like it showed people out there like you can still be sweet as can be, but you have to stick up for yourself. And Nicole was coming at her and attacking her. And she had this plan this whole time. And Chriselle was like, all right, let's play ball then. Yeah. Do you think Nicole was planning that for just for the sake of the TV show or was it something just to get a rise out of Chriselle or what was the motivation exactly? I mean, I definitely think that Nicole just has something against Chriselle. And I think that ultimately, if we if we pull everything away, it comes down to jealousy. And I'm going to call it how it is. I'm very open. And when I feel a certain way, I'm open about it. And I think that, you know, there's a a lot of jealousy when it comes to, you know, Nicole and Chriselle. And it's unfortunate because Chriselle is so sweet and so fun and she can't control certain things. But, you know, I don't know if it was because she dated Jason too. And clearly Chriselle was a favorite, but, um, or, you know, maybe it was because Chriselle, you know, does really well in real estate, but Chriselle had given Nicole leads. Chriselle had given Nicole business. So that was what was wild to me is that Nicole is actually coming at someone that it's like, you know, that saying, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Mm -hmm. I loved watching it, Emma. I know it's all of your lives, but I loved watching it. Um, I want to back up and get away from the drama for a second, because I'm so fascinated by your wardrobes, which seem to have reached a new level of an unhinged this season. And I love them, but like, I need to know your planning process for what you're wearing for the show. I know you can't speak for everyone, but Take me through as much detail as possible for how these looks come together. Okay. So I've always loved dressing up. Like I've always, it's always been my thing. If I, any excuse that there was a holiday in high school, you know, whether it was Christmas, I had like the knee high stockings on and a skirt that was basically a scarf. Like that's always been my thing. So when I joined Selling Sunset, I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. I get to basically dress up extra every single day. And I mean, I literally just go upstairs. I have like a whole wardrobe of outfits. Everything's color coded. And I'm kind of like whatever I'm feeling that day. I don't pre plan so a lot of the girls pre-plan I am like I'm the type of person that day I run upstairs kind of like whatever I'm feeling hair wise makeup wise what matches I run up and throw stuff together but the girls a lot of them will have like outfit set but me I'm like you know whatever I'm feeling that day wow so wait do you all get like a wardrobe budget or is this just that's part no. of the thing we do not get a budget for a wardrobe for sure. So it's like whatever we can do, whatever we get, it's all on us. <laughs> oh my God, Emma, I'm like blown away for some reason in my head. And maybe this is just because I watch too much reality TV or something, but I, I just assumed because all of your looks are so put together and elaborate, it seems like a lot of designer stuff too. And so I'm surprised that it's all of your stuff. You would think I would actually, I'd love to bring you in when we're negotiating to get that wardrobe. <laughs> that wardrobe. There should be. There okay, needs you can be. be on my team. <laughs> Do you have a look that you love the most from your time on the show? And also one that you look back on, and you're like, why the fuck was I wearing that? Ooh, okay. So definitely my favorite look was probably um, season four when I came. It was the business suit, jet, uh, the jet scene when I'm coming off in the red, because I just feel like that, that was... So I love like boss, sexy, elegant. And I feel like that suit was boss, sexy, elegant. You got to see a little skin. You know, I'm a CEO of a company. Like I, I just love that type of vibe. So hands down, I would say that's probably my favorite outfit. Although season seven has some killer outfits coming up. So you have a lot to look uh, forward to. And then worst outfit, I'm trying to think. I mean, there's some that I look back on, but I don't have like one that I really regret because I obviously I was feeling in whatever mood that day. So I wore it. I don't have too many outfit regrets, I will say. Maybe like something that was a little bit more boring and I should have been a little more extra. Yeah. Boss, sexy, elegant. Now that's what I'm going to say to myself when I go in my closet to get something to wear. Boss, sexy, elegant. Yeah. That's what Boss, I mean. sexy, elegant. That is, I love that's it. it. Um, <laughs> I loved seeing Chriselle and G-Flip. I know you're close. Uh, what's their relationship like? Do you think the show was an accurate representation of what their relationship is like off the show? Yeah, I mean, I think that they have probably one of the most goal relationships that you could possibly look up to. They are so in love. I love seeing them together. The second that G came into Chriselle's life, I mean, Chriselle's had a whole different smile and a whole different glow. And I mean, 
to see, you definitely have to see them together, but you get to see just a small piece of them because when they, they just have so much fun when they're together. I mean, we go out all the time and every time that I'm with them, I will say it's one of my favorite nights ever. I don't, we could be at Saddle Ranch riding a bull, which yes, we did do. So literally going to the Emmys and, and no matter what, we're always having the best time. But, you know, they have a really, really special love and something that I've never seen before. And it's something that I look up to and hopefully we'll have one day too. Yeah, I was just going to ask, are you seeing anyone right now or what's what's going on? With I'm your- not. I'm not seeing anyone. I'm single. I am. I'm dating though. So, you know, if, if anything, any updates, I will what's your know. type? What What's your type? Like who, who would you like? I feel like, oh, it's so funny. Cause I feel like I definitely have some different types, but like, I like a good businessman, but then at the same time, I mean, I definitely like a little like athlete and someone that's, you know, fit takes care of themselves. But it's funny because when I'm out and about, Herschel will see somebody walk by and she'd be like, ooh, he's your type. And she does know it, which is weird because sometimes I don't even know it. But that's how you know a true best friend when they know your type and you're not even sure. <laughs> right. Um, you said someone who's fit. And I just have to bring up the scene of you running in season six. Have you seen people say that it's like Phoebe from Friends? I'm sure you've seen that. Oh my God. Wait. Yeah. But okay. First of all, I'm like a decent runner. Like, I don't think we realize how fast Chelsea is. Like I actually thought I was way more athletic than I was. I was a swimmer though. So we'll take the swimming. I'll race anyone in the water, but yeah, running. I need to, well, fun fact though, which you guys didn't get to see after we did that race, Chelsea raced the entire crew, males, females. And there was one guy on the crew that I raced and beat everybody, everybody. Oh so gosh. I have to say, Chelsea is literally the fastest person I've ever met in my life. But it, I, yeah, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't giving that day. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. Uh, tell me about season seven. So you all filmed season seven, right? So we're, are we getting that soon? Do we have a date or what can you tell me? I wish we had a date. I would, I honestly would probably tell you if I, if I knew, but we don't have a date yet. I don't know. Hopefully soon, because I feel like everyone, you know, they just saw this new season. They're so invested. Everyone wants to see what's going on. There's still drama going on right now outside of the cameras. And I see all the news headlines about it and everyone's kind of trying to figure out what's happening. So hopefully soon, but I can assure you seven is even better than six. I don't know how, but I can assure you based on like, I was there based on, I haven't even seen anything, but based on being there it's mind-blowing wait so it's lots of drama or who is the drama can you tease who is in some of the drama well we have some new little interesting dynamics so we have a little bit of new drama but yeah we're still you know nicole's still adding some toxic spice (laughs) if you um if you could get rid of someone who would you get rid of would it be nicole yeah, I mean, I just don't really care for her, if I'm being honest with you. Yeah, totally. She does nothing for me. You and Christine had a tenuous relationship before she left. What's the status of the two of you now? Have you seen or heard from her since she left the show? Um, You know, I've heard some of the girls still talk to her. So I've heard from them that they've talked to her and things like that. You know, Christine and I have never really talked or hashed things out. But to be honest with you, I don't really care. I don't. I don't have any crazy hate or animosity towards her. I never did, to be honest with you. It was it was always her, you know, having a thing with me. And you know, I think we're we're grown enough. Hopefully, things can be cool, civil, squashed. But but who knows? You know what I mean? I can't control other people. But yeah, I mean, I just don't. I don't care, and I don't think about it. <laughs> uh, what about the the spinoff? Is called spinning or selling the OC, and I loved the spinoff. Do you know any of them? Obviously, we saw the scene at the end of season six of some of the selling the OC cast members and you all sort of um, coming together for I don't know an open house or party or something. But do you know them at all? personally like that cast i do i know them a little bit i mean we see them at different settings and stuff like that alexander jarvis is definitely my favorite for sure i feel like you know we get we have the same kind of she's very boss business <laughs> um and she's super intelligent so like I, I love being around strong independent women and and she's amazing so as far as the other ones i know when i see in passing but Al, like alex i actually keep up with and you know we, I've invited her to my like little lunch events and stuff like that. So she's probably the one that I'm closest with for sure. 
wait, what did you think about that guy who was married to Brittany Snow? And he was like very flirtatious with the other woman. I forget her name. Oh, what, yes. I what, was what did Alexander, you think about him? Alexander Hall and Tyler Sandoval. Okay. Or no. Oh my God. I just said, <gasps> wait, I just said, wait, that was so Sand- bad. I mean, basically like, the same. I mean, similar vibes. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, that literally just came out of my mouth. That's hilarious. <laughs> What is his last name? It's something with an S. Tyler, I don't know, something. Oh my god. Okay, well that's funny. I guess we can call him that for, yeah. for now. Yeah. yeah I, Spiritually, I he's was... a Sandoval. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like that was a little questionable, all of that. I didn't know, I don't know them in person that well, but I mean I definitely watched that and I was like, wait. That's interesting. Very interesting dynamics, to say the least. But I guess it makes for great TV. (laughs) I know it was good. I'm so excited for it to come back. Do you all feel competitive at all with that cast? Or are you, is a win is a win for all of us? I think it's basically, you know, uh, selling Sunset is like Chelsea running and selling OC is like myself running. (laughs) (laughs) I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Calling it how it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love that. Okay. Let's talk about Brie. You and Brie had um, some overlap with a client. I wonder, can you clear that up? And and where do you and Brie stand now? She was one of the new additions to season six. Oh, yeah. So I actually really like Brie. And, you know, I think that, you know, no one really knew. You never know when someone comes in, into the crew who people are going to gravitate towards. And, you know, Brie and I really connected. Um, and as far as that client situation, that was nothing. And I think that's why we're able to be close and stuff like that. I never reached out to him about houses when we were, when Bree and I were close and stuff like that. So we cleared it up and Bree apologized and, and we actually squashed it really quickly. And you'll see our relationship, you know, get closer and closer and stuff, which I think will be really, really cool to watch. But yeah, no, that. That never happened. <laughs> I, I wouldn't do that, and especially if I knew that, you know, somebody was working with somebody else. And that's why Brie and I are able to be so close. I don't think it could be if, if I had ever really done that, you know? Now, there have been reports that Heather has not filmed for season seven. And uh, how do you feel about that? Did she film at all? Will we see Heather again? Yeah, no. Heather is in a little bit of seven. So yeah, you will get to see Heather in seven. I love Heather. And, you know, that it... She is in some of seven. So you get to see her in seven. I don't know who's reporting that, but fun fact, I'll give you the tea. She is in some of seven. She's awesome. I'm actually seeing her. We're going up to Chriselle's on Friday to meet the baby and stuff. So yeah, you will get to see her in seven. And what about Davina in season six? Was she basically let go? Or I mean, I feel like Davina was only in like a second. Yeah, she became, she wasn't quite in the focus and six. I think it's probably a little bit of the same, but, you know, I think when you're on a show like this, you have to have opinions and you have to kind of, you know, be able to voice them. And I think that, you know, I think that she wanted to be a little bit more neutral, which is totally fine. But, you know, when we're um, making a TV show and there's like people that are actually in real life battling each other, sometimes you have to make a stance and it's okay to make a stance. And it doesn't mean that you're a bad person one way or the other. And I think that, you know, even myself, I make a stance with things. It doesn't mean I have the biggest heart I feel like out of anyone. And I, and I definitely feel like I make a stance and it's important to make a stance, you know, especially like as women, you know, so. Yeah. Um, it was nice this season, the in season six, watching you come to the forefront a little bit more because um, we got to get to know you better than I think we had previously. And so, I don't know. I really like that. I feel like you seem so sweet through the camera and, and I don't know, you just, it seems like you have a good heart. And I, I feel that way about Chriselle too. We've, we've been able to get to know Chriselle for so long, but I feel like that kind of sweetness comes through in the, in the camera. Yeah, I definitely feel like you got to see me a little bit more for who I am and you got to see my goofy side and I am, I'm super goofy and I'm fun and I'm wild. And, you know, in season, when I first joined, it was like, okay, this, they wanted to show like, I, I am a boss. I am a CEO an entrepreneur, but also have like this crazy, like fun side. And I think that you get to see that, you know, more in six and even more in seven. So I, I think it's good for people to see a little bit of everything. What's your relationship with like with Mary now? Are you guys cool? 
I love Mary. Yeah, I love Mary. I think Mary is amazing. She's like the sweetest person in the world. Um, probably does not want to be in the manager position ever again. <laughs> Too much drama for her. Um, and Emma, I, I loved that. I The whole yeah. season six, every time they, Jason would be like, oh, I'm going out of town or something. And Mary had to take over and she was clearly so stressed by it. Oh my God. It I was know. so Poor funny. It, it was so funny. It's so funny. Like there was actually... There was like this thing someone posted the other day of like what every character is in an animal form. And it was like this cute little monkey from Mary that like apparently it hates loud noises and hates drama. <laughs> and it was dead on. I'm going to send it to you because it's hilarious. But yeah, Mary's a sweetheart. Love her to death. Does not want to be involved in any drama whatsoever. She will full blown sprint. Sprint Chelsea style. <laughs> it was just so funny because you all, I felt like everybody was sort of making her be or the center of the drama or something or or somehow like getting her opinions and it was clear that she like didn't want to be a part of it but like somehow kept being like the nucleus of it there was something that was so funny about that just juxtaposition in this season oh it was hilarious like i said my favorite moment is when she screamed to nicole you're not a crackhead nor have you ever been <laughs> um but yeah she did not want to be in the drama and everyone wanted mary to kind of make a decision and say who's right or wrong. Mary's not going to do that. So it was one of those things. Yeah, it, epic, ep epic Mary moments. <laughs> Wait, that drug test thing, though, was... So did you believe any of that stuff? Like, do you think she actually went and got a real drug test and, and it was accurate? I mean, I think she really went and got a drug test, which is kind of horrific that you would actually think first of all why are you going to waste your time on a vacation to go do that that's a little crazy and then on top of that why are you taking it so serious if someone ever said that to me i would laugh so hard i mean i've also never tried a drug in my life but like i would laugh so hard and it just wouldn't be that serious but i don't know she made it a whole thing by going to get a drug test and doing all that i don't know there was just something but, so sketch about it the way you all reacted and then going to get the the thing and yeah it was just so strange to me it's the right thing and and i kept thinking about like the logistics of it is it just because we're she's on a tv show and she's worried i understand maybe worrying about an accusation like that um, because it's on camera, you might not have control over the editing and stuff. And so you might want to clear it or nip it in the bud, but I don't know. It felt weird. It felt weird. Yeah, well, imagine being there. It felt even weirder. It was like very confusing to everyone. And like, what is happening? Why are you taking this so serious? Like chill out, literally take a chill pill. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I did love though, that you all went on a cast trip. Cause I of course love the housewives and they always do cast trips. And so it was so refreshing to see you all get away. Will there be another cast trip in season seven? Ooh, I think I can tease that there will be another trip. I don't know okay. if I can say where there will definitely be another trip and it's even cooler. Like outside of California? Yes. Okay. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, Emma, before I let you go. <laughs> okay, I can't wait. Um, before I let you go, what else? Is there anything else you could tease or anything that you want to clear up from season six of Selling Sunset? Hmm. No, I think we kind of cleared everything up. I mean, I think that, you know, you got to see the dynamics between, you know, Chelsea and Brie and Nicole and Chrishell. And I think that I'm really proud of Chrishell for sticking up for herself and more power to her. I think people get to see a whole new side to her. And I love that. And, you know, season six, I was definitely just kind of there taking it all in and having my opinions. And I think that you get to see some fun friendship dynamics. <laughs> uh, I... Love the show so much. I just lost. I had something in my head that I wanted to ask you that I totally forgot. It just dropped by me. But I'm super excited for season seven. Hopefully, we'll get it very soon. Tell everyone about your empanadas, too. Of course, I went on the empanada journey, which I, I think is still saved on my Instagram highlights. But tell everyone where they could get them and, and more about these empanadas. Yes. So actually, um, we just got launched in Pavilions, which is my newest account. I am so excited. Um, and then, yeah, on QVC, I think we're going to start that up again. So maybe we can do our QVC collab. I know that they were really wanting that. So I feel like we have to do that, especially now that the season is out. I feel like it's perfect timing to do our QVC collab. I would love it. I also feel um, it's sort of a bucket list dream of mine to be a QVC host where I get to like, I just want to be there being like, okay, tell me about these empanadas. Like I used to watch it as a kid. I would be up late at night watching like HSN or QVC or whatever. And I love like the host having to like 
oversell and like talk about what we're eating and talk about what we're doing. I used to love the Christmas time when they would be selling like Christmas lights or, or I used to watch some like Looney Tunes show on QVC where they had like all the Warner brothers Looney Tunes merch. And it's like always been a dream of mine to be like, okay, now here's the Taz t-shirt or here's the, here's Emma's empanadas. Like here's how we got to go. So I, I I think it's so uh, wonderfully absurd. And I mean that in the nicest of ways, but um, I love that. Well, let's yes. make that come true. We'll, we'll get you on. <laughs> we'll make it happen. Um, okay. The last two things I ask. I'll, oh, oh, here's the thing that I just remembered. Wait, so yeah. will, will the plan be to do another reunion after season seven or do you all not know that yet? I think I, so I think we're doing a reunion after season seven. So I okay. think that that would, and it will be good. I feel like that reunion is going to be spicy. Oh, I need it. I need it. I don't know but, if the audience can handle the spice on that one. <laughs> oh, we can handle it. Um, okay. The last, uh, last two questions I ask all of my guests are your favorite Mariah Carey song. And then also if you were choosing for people magazine, sexiest man alive, who would you choose? <laughs> Ooh, okay. That's that's an easy one. I'll lead with that one. Okay, um, okay I will say Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, good choice, Emma. Especially, have you seen, have you seen him lately? Yeah, I mean, he's I, been, yeah. Okay, so he's doing that boxing movie, some boxing movie, and he is like extra fit and ripped, and yeah, he's giving. So that's who I would vote. I don't know if my vote counts, but that's what I, who I would vote for. I love it. Wait, have you dated any? You've probably dated famous guys. You live in LA and you're stunning looking. Oh, I made the mistake of mentioning that once. I will not mention who I'm dating ever again. <laughs> Wait, I don't know my research. Wait, who did you date? Oh God, no, no, no. I didn't. I just mentioned mentioned somebody, but yeah, no, no, no. I, Wait, I'm just remembering it was on the show, wasn't it? Yes. So I keep my my celebrity dating relationships private now moving forward for life. <laughs> oh my God. Now, now I need to know. Wait, can you tell me who it was? I remember it was on the show. It was on the show. He's okay. yeah, yeah. It was on the show. He's married to a certain someone famous. But yeah. Oh, Ben Affleck. Was it Ben Affleck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but that was that was nothing anyways. Nothing, nothing came of that. I mentioned it. It was nothing. But yeah, I definitely. Will not so be mu- mentioned. <laughs> you must have gone. <laughs> What's your favorite Ben Affleck movie? Can I ask you that? Oh, I actually I can answer that. I like the town. I'm from Boston, so yeah. I like the town. That was you, easy. That's you must no have date. You must have dated some other hot, famous men, right? That's a story for another day. Okay. We'll talk offline. Okay. <laughs> we'll the, talk offline. Okay. The last thing is your favorite Mariah Carey song. I don't know if you have one or I can see. think of one. Um, I would actually have to say hero because for my second grade, we had like a talent show, me and my best friend, we sang hero and we fought over the microphone and I did an awful job. Like you want to talk about me running Chelsea? We totally botched it. And I don't know why I thought I was a singer, but hero has to be the winner. If we could somehow scramble that video up. Oh my God. It would be iconic. You have to find the video somewhere. You have to. I have to find it. But hero for the win because picturing myself uh singing that song and botching it. Yeah, that's that's the winner. I love it. Emma, this was such a delight getting to chat with you. Everyone can check out Selling Sunset on Netflix season six and hopefully season seven. I'm hoping it'll be like a surprise drop very soon. Or or me too. We'll I'm right there with you. I and I'll give it. you the tea if I get it sooner. <laughs> Please. Um, Emma, thank you so much. Everyone also get Emma's empanadas. You can get them at Pavilions now, which is super exciting. We we shop yeah. there all the time. Uh, thank you, Emma. Have a great day. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye. It's a pleasure.